The Cats hit the road for a big game with breaking news. Also, how Texas Tech hopes free beer will get more students to the game. The home of the Wildcats will be taken over by Bulls tomorrow. Seth tries his hand at bull riding in Rupp Arena. I think that's what he was doing. <laughs> and it's called the World's Worst <laughs> Cat. An animal shelter's unusual approach to finding this feline a new home. It's on now. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. It's January 24th. I'm Jennifer Palumbo along with Nancy Cox. Great to have you back on hey, a Friday. Good to be here. Feels like a Monday. I can't get going today. You I know. know I just, it's been one of those weeks, hasn't it? I know. It's just, and the <laughs> weather doesn't help. It's like, let's just end this week. Let's yeah. get it done. Are you doing anything fun this weekend? <laughs> Nothing major. Um, I like this weather. I'm thinking maybe I want to make some chili and rent some movies. Stay inside. Yeah. yeah, binge watch a few shows. Course, watch the ball game, of course. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Well, on today's show, Seth and I went bull riding, or as you wait. just saw, it wasn't exactly bull riding, but we did have a great time. <laughs> and how you can celebrate the Lunar New Year at Panda Express. Toby Brown is live from their newest location. And also, breaking UK basketball news. This just happened within yeah. the last 30 minutes that freshman Khalil Whitney announced on Twitter that he is transferring from Kentucky. I'm just going to read you a teeny bit of his statement. He said, unfortunately, my time at Kentucky has not gone as I had hoped, and I therefore need to make a difficult decision quickly to put myself back in the best position possible as I continue to develop and work toward my ultimate goal. A McDonald's All-American yeah. didn't really, you know, get a lot of playing time. And, and, you know, and it really is a different world in college basketball. We know it's a business, yeah. and if things aren't looking like they're going to work out for him here, you know, do you sit and you wait and you wait and maybe never get that shot? Or do you find a different path to end up where you really want to be in the NBA? And it's just different. Doesn't mean we love it, but it, no, it, it's just it is. And also, Kentucky's not for everyone. So right. you know, oh, yeah. and we, we wish him the best on his you know next journey. It's Most just definitely. a shame that it didn't work out here. Yeah, Cal yeah. says that a lot. It's not for everyone. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, this is a big weekend for Coach Cal and the Cats. The 15th ranked Wildcats are heading to Lubbock, Texas, to take on 18th ranked Texas Tech. UK is coming off a win over Georgia. Texas Tech just lost to unranked TCU. And the Red Raiders are going to great lengths to get <laughs> students to the game. Get this, the school is hosting a pregame party and offering free oh beer my. to students 21 and older. I would venture to say this is something we will likely never see happen no. at, at UK. And actually, their coach, Chris Beard, recorded a video you know promoting this i, I just oh, i wow. cannot imagine coach kel saying we're giving away beer to students come oh, to the game uh, but you know that's how texas tech is doing it and huh. it will be a wild crowd i'm sure that is different yes um what do you think I, about that they must be having zero turnout from the students in order to go well, I, to that extreme I, I mean i think i think that worked because they've already shown that there are texas tech fans who are lined up oh now goodness. for the game which isn't until tomorrow so mm. that was you know a, an approach like i said i cannot imagine yeah. uk no it'll get a lot of attention as yeah. it is obviously already doing i just hope they're doing something like okay free uber rides right. or kind of do a buddy system thing or something because oh. right because it's a tailgate in the morning so that's a long that's time from long that time. until tip off later in the afternoon and those so. aligned may be uh doing a little celebrating early themselves yes. even yes so. that's shocking really big game tomorrow their mm -hmm. tip off is at six o'clock tomorrow night in lubbock so go cats yeah well this is gonna be fun i know i'm excited about this <laughs> we're gonna play a game now and it is called how country are you that's a loaded question <laughs> here's how it works you get one point for everything on the list that you've tried there are 39 items on the list we're just gonna pick a few right now for instance fried squirrel yes i've seen it have chest, you had it no okay i could i, I no. haven't either mm -mm. chest pie I've had frog that. legs Hoppin' John, not even sure what that is. Chicken liver, yep. Boiled peanuts, yep. Fried bologna, amazing. <laughs> Poke salad, <laughs> rabbit stew, hot brown. We've all had that. Hot brown, right of here. course, yeah. Kind of chocolate gravy. Have you had that? The best thing ever. <gasps> I grew up on this. Are I'm you missing kidding out. me? It is so good. <laughs> Turnip greens, yep. Pickles, pig feet, <laughs> seen them, haven't eaten them. Gator tail. I have had that. <laughs> fat back. Don't know. Red eye gravy. Surely, Jennifer, red eye gravy. No. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, shrimp and grits, fried green tomatoes. We're gonna have to get you some country ham and red eye gravy. I know, and you know, I moved. So I moved to Kentucky in 1994. Yeah. My, the first place I lived was Hazard, and I, you know, covered all, a lot of Eastern Kentucky. And so I went to a Leslie County High School game when Tim Couch was yes. still in high school, and. <laughs> 
his dad was there and they have this thing that they called the quarterbacks club and it was all of these people tailgating up on the hill Fun. and so he said you know would you like to have something to eat and I said sure and he said you know we have some chicken and dumplings and I was like oh wow I've never had that and he was like you've never had chicken and dumplings I grew up in Cincinnati tr you know tr yeah, true no. confession so I didn't get to enjoy all these things so that was my first time with chicken and dumplings which I absolutely love okay. by the way but a lot of the things on the list I didn't even know you know what, what it was you had like, to look what, them up didn't you what is okay and if you get 16 or more it says it's on like a pot of neck bone. So what was your what's your score? <laughs> I'm a way over 16. <laughs> See, I have 19. I oh, had a feeling that I would hey, I would lose good, this though. to you. So how how many did you say? I was right around 23. Oh, okay. And I, I've seen even more than that. But like I said, my mom or no one could get me to try some of those. But that's that's pretty nice for a Cincinnati uh, I, native. I, I, there. My time in Kentucky, I've been able to try a lot of you yeah. know great things. Well, and you're so, a Kentuckian now. Yeah, I've lived here longer than uh, than I have. Yeah. In Ohio. Ohio, so yeah. got to do the chocolate gravy though. We got to figure out a way to okay. get you some chocolate I, gravy. I would like to try that. And you know, <laughs> lots of you are weighing in on our Facebook page as well. Marilyn Stuckwish says, tried all but two. How about that? Oh my. Doesn't mean I liked, but I tried. Her score is 37. I, well done. I want to know which two she didn't try. <laughs> Becky Farney Young score is 30. She says, I would try the souse. But growing up, my family never made it. The rest, I don't care to try. And what is souse? Because I didn't know what it is. <sighs> well, you never waste anything when you grow up poor, you know? I mean, nothing, you waste nothing. And when you slaughter an animal, like a hog, even from the head, you throw nothing away. So you take every little thing you can gather up left from the head of the hog, and you, some call it press meat. Okay. You make it, you condense it, and it, I just don't even want to go any further. Yeah, that's okay. But yeah, that's a, that, that, that's all right. But, that was you know, traumatic. Yeah, that's, that, that's, <laughs> that was something on the list. So I'm glad I'm getting educated yeah, here on more things that make you country. And you can tell us how country <laughs> you are. Just go to our It's On Facebook page and join the discussion. It is very entertaining right now. I wonder how off I was on that explanation. <laughs> Somebody will let me know. Oh, if they're watching, they will tell us, yes. <laughs> Well, a North Carolina animal shelter is taking an unusual approach to getting one particular cat adopted. The Mitchell County Animal Rescue posted her picture with the label World's Worst <laughs> Cat. The cat's described as liking jump scares, lurking, and being queen of the house. All fairly standard kitty traits. However, it also says she doesn't like kittens, dogs, or children, which means she'll probably need to be a solo That's cat. That's going to narrow it down. Yeah, yes. the post is getting a lot of attention and even a few hundred dollars in donations. I'll donate to keep her away from our house. That yeah. would not work well. We have children. We have fish. We have... Yeah. A dog, so that wouldn't work. Yeah. Well, hopefully though they find her home. You know, Grumpy Cat made a lot of money. I, so I mean, yeah. There you go. This yep. could this could work. Well, <laughs> Tinder wants users to feel free from danger on dates. The dating app has announced it's adding new safety features. One is a panic button users can hit in case something goes terribly wrong during the date. Emergency dispatch will be called to the location. Also, users can check in to let friends know where they are. The free tools can be found in a new section of the app called the Safety Center. They should be available on January 28th. Match, the dating conglomerate that owns Tinder, will roll out the new tools to OkCupid, Hinge, and the flagship Match.com mm. later this year. Keyword tags, safety feature, tools, match. Wow. Well, it's, I guess it's so it's different good. from what, from you know from when I I, I was know. single. We didn't have apps or anything. It's I just so. I just can't imagine. I guess they're. It's smart to have safety it features, is. but if you're going to go down that road to begin with, you need to have some plans yeah, already and a backup plan yeah. too. Have that friend yeah. on standby. But can you imagine your children? using a, a dating app. I mean, they probably will. Our I kids know. probably will. It's just kind of becoming so common, but it's scary. Yeah. yeah. I know. Different world. I for know, sure. isn't it? <laughs> well, here's a different world, but a fun one. Rupp <laughs> Arena is going to be taken over by bulls this weekend. The professional bull riders are bucking into Lexington. Seth Phillips and I spent the morning at Rupp to see <laughs> how they're getting ready for the big event. The Kentucky Wildcats are on the road this weekend. Rupp Arena is going to be rocking, though, for a different reason. And it's actually being transformed right now for a special event that is coming up tomorrow night. Well, hello there, cowgirl. You are, you, I mean, look at this. You're looking. I feel pretty I feel pretty legit right now. I feel like I'm ready to tackle anything, the day, the, uh, the herd. 
or whatever else it is we're gonna do here. I have no idea, but I feel like I'm dressed the part. So let's go ahead and go I don't have any idea either, but there is someone here. He has been doing this pretty much all your life. Brian Titman joins us now, and this is something, I mean, it, it's really a part of who you are. Ah, uh, yes, man, I've done it since I was a little bit of a kid. My dad and grandpa did it, so it's all I've ever known since I was a kid. And this event that's coming to Rupp Arena, what can people expect who are coming? Uh, it's the best show on dirt. You know, I wouldn't want to miss it. You can bring your mom out, your grandma out. It's, you know, you're going to buy a seat, but you're going to sit on the edge of it the whole time. Now, you say dirt. I'm looking at floor here, so they're going to put in some dirt inside of Rupp Arena. Yes, sir. Okay. They said like 30 truckloads will 30 be brought truckloads. in. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay, yeah. so I feel like this is not what you typically see on the ranch <laughs> so i'm going to need you to explain what it what i'm wearing and why start at the top yeah uh you're wearing your helmet up there that protects you know your head okay. your brain and all that it's really good concussion wise you know it's, if you're born after 92 now you have to wear that helmet uh, okay so okay. it's an awesome deal for us gotcha uh, the chaps are real flashy all that is is just extra points. It just kind of dresses it up, dresses it up. You know, you got the vest on, I which took is his vest, yes. yeah. that good takes thing care I'm of all of our main today. organs and all the good stuff. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, I like that. <laughs> and then you got my the rope right here. This is another important deal. You need this. Put your hand in there to hold on to the bulls. Okay. okay. So is he gonna need that? Yes. Okay, I feel like. Okay. Now I'm not. I'm... So so what does it take to do this? I, just... I mean to to do it really well. For me, and I've done it since I was a little bit of a kid, but mostly it's just your positive, being, your mindset, you know, your, your mind's more than anything. If you can teach yourself and train yourself to be positive in everything you do and, you know, conquer stuff in life, you're going to be great at riding bulls. That's the way I look at it. But, you know, of course, you know, you got to build your core, you need, you know, your strength, your power, your balance, all that kind of bounces into stuff. Okay, so this is riding bull? Yep, you're uh, going to be riding other... an air bull. Air bull. You're riding, oh, okay. an, air so riding an air bull. And this is probably better because it means we will not get injured in the course of <laughs> doing right. this, right? Put your hand in here. Okay. <laughs> And then, uh, got it. Oh, okay, they're talking about How, how, many, how many riders take part in this? 35. Okay. 35 of the best guys will be here this weekend against the 35 best bulls in the world. Okay. Okay. So give me a little instruction. What am right, I, uh... Put it close. Close. Your free arm's gonna go up. That's right, hand's gotta go up. Yep. All Can't right. touch anything down here with that free arm. Got it. So then make a few rounds with it. All and right. every time you make a so round, I'm, there yeah. you go. Give me a little... I'm never going to do some music or something, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, Do a little commentary. Yeah, he's commentary. Kind of oh, he's getting a little ornery now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, slow down. He's there. moving his little aggressive. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Look, look. I got him. I got him. He's good. He's, he's good. taming him down. He likes me. He likes right, me. You got good. a couple more seconds in you. Yeah, okay. I got to go Come one. the other eight, way eight now. Eight Come seconds. the other way. Go left. What's, oh, oh, there, oh, there he goes. There That's right. Go. Bulls go two ways, don't they? Now, when I blow the whistle, you're going to jump off. Let go of your hand in the rope. Okay. Okay. All right. How'd I do? Amazing. Thank you. It's all right, I've been practicing all morning for that. <laughs> so, so, I mean, it's just, it's that simple. It's whoever stays on the longest wins. Yeah, well, you're supposed to stay on it eight seconds. You're required for eight seconds. Anything longer than that, you don't get judged on. Okay. 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 So you're just looking good for eight seconds. Eight basically. seconds. Sometimes it's a little harder to get there, but most of us are all shooting for that. So if you can get there for eight seconds, it's sure. phenomenal. And what are some of the other things that are going to be happening on the floor other than the bull riding? Uh, you have an entertainer there, giving the crowd everything they want to know. They're going to kind of, he's going to kind of keep everyone laughing, keep it funny. Uh, there's going to be loud music, lights. It's going to be an awesome show. Amazing. And it's all tomorrow. Give everybody the details if they want to come. Uh, tomorrow starts at seven o'clock. It's an awesome show. Your tickets are still on sale for fifteen dollars. I wouldn't want to miss it. Yep. You can get tickets at Ticketmaster.com and also at the Rupp Arena box office. This place is going to be packed. I wouldn't <laughs> last one second. No, no. And I think <laughs> Seth's career, Seth's future is more toward being a rodeo clown, maybe. Yes, yeah, yeah. Distracting yeah, the bulls. He's, he's full of bull. Yeah. <laughs> but you have $15. The kids will love yeah. it. Head on out.